<laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! I tell you what, someday, someday we're going to release the TNT Outtakes DVD for Christmas and it's going to make us millions and mill billions of pounds in revenue. But anyway, uh, we have on the line the very one and only Ben from Chasing Descent. Every time I see this guy, his appearance changes, his background changes, everything changes, and even the topics of conversation change. Ben, how are you doing this fine Tuesday morning in February? Ah, oh, very well, Rick. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes, really. That's that's <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job of it, mate. Let yeah. me tell you this. And uh, you have a uh, you have the Chasing Descent uh, podcast, which is fantastic. And hopefully, uh, Natalie and I are actually going to be on that next week. And I'm really looking forward to it, getting on air with you guys yeah. on your home turf. But you also do uh, film reviews. You also have uh, YouTube yeah. channels where people can go and support you to do film reviews. So this ties in a little bit with what we're going to talk about this morning. Now, I was trying to uh, get people to brace themselves for this particular story. I said there's a, a movie that's so horrific and so disgusting that it's been reclassified by the British Board of Film Classification. It's not a driller killer. It's not the centipede, a human centipede. It's not even the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ben, I think I'm going to pass it over to you because I, can, I can't even get the words out. Uh, which movie are they you, going to you, reclassify you can. now? <laughs> it, it, well, they're actually doing uh, free. They're reclassifying free movies. However, um, the main one that we want to talk about here is 60 years old, stars Dame uh -huh. Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke, and it's called Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I'm not going to lie. I love it, mate. I'm well, waiting for they... Rick to sing. You're waiting for him to sing. You could yeah, be waiting soon, a while. Uh, <laughs> but no, they're reclassifying it from a U to a PG over discriminatory language. And and that language being the term hot and tot, which is used twice in the movie. Uh, what we have to remember is this. The movie is 60 years old. It came out in 1964. Uh, it depicts life in Victorian Britain. It doesn't even depict life in the 60s. And these terms were the norm back then. And what we have to remember is just because our standards change right now in 2024 does not mean we should judge our art and even rate our art from 60 years ago by those same standards if you want to go ahead and say some put a little disclaimer on the front of the movie and say some of the terms used within yeah. this movie would have been seen as that's one thing but to 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 simply reclassify it for a term a colonial term which i'm going to guarantee you the vast majority of people have no idea the meaning of anyway is is it's nanny stating is what it is this is the key this has got to be taking the biscuit right because let me tell you this when i first i actually was perusing the news yesterday and i saw this article and i was yeah. coming and hanging about whether or not to cover it and then lo and behold you're on here today and i'm glad to be talking about it listen i apparently there was another article i read i think the bay brand on it they didn't even mention this word hot and tot and let me tell you this i have traveled extensively in africa i have been with nomadic african groups i've never heard the expression hot and tot in my 50 almost 51 years on planet earth i watched mary poppins when i was a little kid I watched it in my 20s, and I'm not embarrassed to admit, I still enjoy watching that film. I never picked up at any stage what anybody referred to in a derogatory term to somebody from another race. Don't Still to this day, don't even know what a hot and tot is. And the, the people that apparently it refers to as some uh, nomadic tribe in sub-Saharan yeah. Africa, I've never heard of those people either. So I, I really, I mean, are they that hard up for work to do that they're now trawling through old Disney movies like Mary, what next? Bambi, are they going to go after Bambi well, next or Jaws? Uh, is so Jaws also, a racist shark? <laughs> so they're also reclassifying the Disney movie Ratatouille from a U to a PG for mild violence and bad language. Um, and, and then this one will take the biscuit. Have you ever heard of a little movie called Fight Club? Now this Thank movie... This movie is very good, as as Natalie says, and it actually really is not about fighting. It's more about a cult started by a mentally ill man who then goes on to commit acts of quite 
horrific terrorism. Uh, that's being reclassified from an 18 to a 15. <laughs> They're going to make it a new film. And they're going to reclassify <laughs> Mary. Mary, but Julie Andrews is going to be deemed to be a, you know, a racist. So she has to be PG. But Brad Pitt is going to be de- de- downgraded from an 18 to you. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> to see that happening in this inverted world in which we live in. That It's it's mental. Uh, it? I, I just feel like they're trying to rewrite history. You know, we I know we refer to 1984 a lot, but um, it wouldn't surprise me soon. Like you said, if they even just remove those sections rather than changing them you know like like take the yeah. word hot and tot out rather than rather than do that but that isn't the way it should be like you said no. if you want to put a little sign on it and say there are some words that aren't respectful now what are they going to do all about you know things like eight mile with eminem are they going to start yeah. removing films like that because they use the n-word you know because no. that was used in that time in history in those times in america what what are we going to do just is every film in the future going to be like robots because we can't use any language that might offend one person or another. And well, I mean, all of the movie like studios, that. all of the movie yeah. studios are starting to lean into AI, aren't they? They're really starting to lean into AI to help write their movies because, let's mm. face it, they're getting lazy. But I think that this is more of a case of um, nanny stating, as I said before, because the British Board of Film Classification really do have absolutely no case to be going back over 60 even 20 year old movies and deciding whether or not we should reclassify them by the standards of today however if you did want to reclassify mary poppins then there is a there is a reason i'll give you a reason dick van dyke's attempt at a british accent people <laughs> that's that's why you reclassify mary poppins because that's an insult to the british people right there Hang on a minute, yeah. guys. We're missing we're missing the elephant in the room right here. We're missing the elephant in the room. <laughs> Never mind what's said in the film. When the credits roll up at the end and it says Bert is played by Dick Van Dyke. What next is that going to be? Is his name going to be blurred out on the screen? Are they going to change his name as well? Are they going to blank him out? Have they missed that one? And if anything, it should be reclassified based on his name, not the content of the script. Can I just quickly say as well, I watched Grease remastered at the weekend as well, which is another absolute brilliant classic musical. And I couldn't believe watch rewatching it would never be allowed to be there. They were there was upskirting in. There at the and the first one of the first scenes, the guy's looking up um a, a, a like a female skirt. Um, there's a whole scene where the uh, the uh, presenter is literally talking to the 16 year old and like uh but, yeah. but basically grooming her. But like in yeah. front, I was thinking it can't be long before they're going to take Greece off as well. All I watch. All I'm going to say is watch the old class movies now before they remove them all due to offense because that's what's due to happen i think i i completely yeah. agree with you i i think that art well once again art should not be censored and referring to 1984 whilst maybe overused i think is absolutely the correct thing to do um it's supposed to be fiction it's not supposed to be a guidebook and yet here we have people doing this over and over and over again it's like sanitizing books sanitizing movies um just say okay this was a different time people had different sen- sensibilities and different ways of looking at people in the world you don't have to go on and put in control measures because that's what these classifications are really they are control measures put in control measures because people are too sensitive to be able to handle something from a different era. I think human beings, especially adults, actually aren't too sensitive, maybe becoming too sensitive because, let's face it, the university system is creating this type of person. But, um, yeah, it's it should be that people can make their own decisions. You don't have to start reclassifying and putting control measures on a film that is 60 bloody years old, excuse my language. No, and here's the other thing too, guys. Let's take one positive from this. Usually when something is censored or something is banned, it is the best publicity that that movie could get. And I'm hoping 
for a massive resurgence uh, in DVD sales of Mary Poppins. Yeah. As curious, yeah. uh, you cinema uh, re-release, 60th anniversary. <laughs> Get it done. It's uncut, on my list uncensored, watch. uncut, and uncensored. Uh, Julian <laughs> was an old thick Van Dyke, and all the uh, you know the Poppins family. But that's the thing. I remember you remember Ben back in the uh, 80s and 90s. There was the whole hullabaloo over uh, Judas Priest and Ozzy Osbourne singing oh, yeah. their songs. Oh yeah. kid. What did that do? If nothing but massively raise their profile and get kids to go out and buy the album sleeves. And I don't know if you can remember a band called Jane's Addiction uh, out of uh, Los Angeles in California. Well, they had two very controversial album sleeves, one of which was like a paper mache statue of, uh, you know, a, a, a lewd act being committed between some adults. Right. But they deemed it to be too too hardcore, so they wrapped it in a paper bag thinking it would deter kids from buying it. But of course, all they yeah. did was they wanted it even more. It's like, what's behind the paper bag? What What is this filth? Uh, I need to see it for myself. So maybe, maybe uh, there'd be a resurgence not in this movie. I don't know. I, and I hope I there think is. Cause I think I, before, because we keep, I know I keep going on, but Morgan Freeman says that in order to get r- rid of racism, you've got to stop talking about it. So all they've mm. done by by reclassifying this and showing the word hot and tots is we've all gone to look at the word hot and tots and it will probably get mm-hmm. used more than it ever has before. So well, I'm with well, Morgan yeah. Freeman. Stop talking about it. Stop making a thing about it and, and stop judging people. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll actually move forward. But as they keep doing, I just feel like we're moving backwards. You and know what? There's before, just, before, just... Sorry, go ahead, Ben. Go ahead. I was going to say, before I, I run away, I will plug the channel I do the reviews on. It's called The Real yes, Review yeah. UK. So right. um, I do movie Brilliant. reviews, travel reviews, theme parks and all that over there. And it's just more about having fun and positivity than the sort of dreary day to day of the news that we do on Chasing Descent. Brilliant. <laughs> so we need so more of check- that, Ben. Yeah, we need more of it. Check it out on uh, YouTube and, of course, the Chasing Descent podcast as well. Uh, ben, it's been an absolute pleasure and a blast as always talking to you here this morning. I hope you have an absolutely epic day doing whatever you're doing. Maybe you're going to go out and fly a kite. Boom, boom. If you're a big Mary Poppins fan, you'll understand what I've just said there. If not, uh, uh, yeah, up to the atmosphere. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost topping the back. Asbo orders. And what, listen, what about what about Jacob Rothschild? Dang, does it not remind you of that old toss pot banker uh, in Mary yeah. Poppins? You know that old toss yeah. pot banker. That's yeah. Jacob Rothschild, guys. I'm telling yeah. you now. And the old bag lady who fed the birds for topping the bag, she would have been banged with an asbo uh, if she was alive these days. <laughs>